Well, welcome to your Google Classroom. When you're on the class tiles page, you're gonna find your class and go ahead and click on the title to enter your class. This brings you into the stream. You can see this right here. This is where you can say hello, you can ask a question, you can see you can leave a class comment on the different assignments, but where you really wanna focus is come up here to the classwork page. So you're gonna go ahead and click on classwork and you're gonna find your assignments. Now this is really important where it says view your work. So don't ignore this piece. The view your work is where you're gonna be able to see a list of your assignments and your scores. Now what you're gonna look for is assignments that you have not completed. Now you can tell that this assignment is not completed because it is a dark color. Once you've completed the activity, it's gonna grab. So let's take a look. What you're gonna do is click on the stripe. That's gonna open it up, expand out, come all the way down so you can view the instructions. Now let's break down this page because you're gonna wanna look at this assignment page for all of your assignments. It's gonna tell you when it's due, here's the due date, how many points it's worth, here's the note or the instruction, and any attachments or links that you're gonna need for the activity. Now if you keep coming down, you'll see here that it says class comments. Add a class comment, I am really excited about this activity. Now this is gonna be seen by the class. This is public, so do be aware of that. I'm gonna go ahead and post. I'm gonna come back up a little bit and you'll notice the Your Work bubble. This is how you're gonna add work to any of your assignments. So I'm gonna click Add or Create, and that gives you the option to find things in your Google Drive, link to files that you own, you can attach things, upload them, or you can create a brand new doc, sheet, slides, or drawings right in the assignment, which is really cool because it puts your name on it. And you can see that your status is assigned, not late. Now, if you're not gonna attach anything, that's okay. There's a lot of assignments where you might not attach something. So you just go ahead and click mark as done. Just letting your teacher know you participated, you saw it, you read it, you did the activity, and you're gonna go ahead and mark it as done. Now, if you have a question, this is gonna be really important, the private comments. The private comments is only between you and the teacher between you and the teacher. So I'm gonna click on add comment. Oops. And you notice that you can bold, italicize, put in some bullets if you want, and go ahead and send. So your teacher is gonna be able to reply. This is a private comment. Again, the class cannot see it. So make sure you notice the class comment Everyone can see it. This is a great place for you to ask questions about the assignment. Say, I'm confused how to do this. Who has some tips? Something that you might raise your hand in class, you know, that's good for everybody to hear. And if you don't wanna raise your hand in class, that's where that private comment goes. I'm gonna come back up here. I wanna make sure that I either add or create or just mark as done. Now, if you add or create, it's gonna change it from mark as done to submit but it's gonna be the same thing. I and mean, it's gonna give you a heads up, like, did you mean to not attach anything? That's right, I meant to not attach anything. I'm gonna go ahead and mark as done. Now you can do two things. You can either click up here on the class title and that's gonna take you back to the stream. If you wanna get back to the classwork page, you might wanna hit the back arrow so it's gonna take you back over here. So the back arrow is a great way to get back to the assignments, or you can click on the class title and it takes you back to the stream where you'll be able to see those class interactions.